Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Well, we've got a quick little project for you today. It has to do with the shop, getting it painted and all. Let's go take a look. Well, you know, uh, I hired a couple of guys to paint the shop here. And I think that was a good move because uh, painting physically, no, too demanding for no fellow like me. But anyways, uh, they, they finished painting the shop and uh, today I just finished putting all the stuff back on the shop that goes on the shop. So, uh, you know, I think it was a good idea to get someone to paint the shop. But man, oh man, putting this stuff back on the shop, that's just as hard as painting, I think. Look what I did today. To start with, of course, I put my shelf with the uh, gorgeous red Massey Ferguson tractor on it. Then I had to put these shutters back up, right? I had to put the bench back in front there. I had to put my Grampy's Workshop sign back up. And of course I had to put my uh, Massey Ferguson parking only sign back up. And then we had to put this piece of lattice on here again. And then put my loon on it. And I had to take the railing off the steps here for the guys to paint. So I had to put that back on, but I didn't do that yet. So there's another big job. I also had to put the uh, shutters back on this upper window. And then I had to put the little welcome sign in up here. Right there. Like these aren't big jobs mind you, but nevertheless, they're taxing on an old soul. I uh, had to put the hose reel back on. And then I had to put the shelf back on here beside it and uh, secure all that. I had to put the uh, the door catch on here for the, sh for the shed. Like I say, nothing big, but man, oh man. Then I had to put my hangers back on here to hold my drag, and a couple of hangers up here to hold my ATV ramps. So that worked out not too bad. And then I had to climb my way up on the shed roof and staple this piece of wire that comes right down here right down here, right down here, to that controller right there because that's the controller for the lights on my cupola. So I had to get that done. And then, around on this side, I had to put the hangers back up here to hang my ladder. And then I also mounted the flag. I used to have the flag on the barn, but it was always triggering our, our security light. So I mounted on the pole this time. I think it looks a lot better out there. But that was another job I had to do. And I had to climb up on the ladder to do that, so that makes it like doubly difficult. <laughs> I'm wore out. It was hard work. It took them, uh, well it took them three days to paint the barn. Uh, and they never worked like an eight hour day. I think the longest they were here, maybe five hours. So I'm gonna say 15 hours to paint the shop. And it took me, <laughs> better part of eight hours put the gear back on it and I'm not finished yet I've got a light that I need to put on the far corner uh, oh and one other thing I put a security camera up there too uh, but you know <laughs> a lot of work to paint something you think you hire somebody to do the painting and then the job is over no just starting and I had to take all this down too oh man <laughs> what a complainer eh So I'd uh, just like to show you the kind of damage that squirrels can do around your place if you're not on the ball and keeping them away. Squirrels, I'm telling you, they're the second worst invention that the Lord ever made, I'm sure. Look at this. These holes here, a couple above it there, all made by squirrels. Now this is a shelter where I keep my attachments and usually this piece that's hanging down the front here, I keep that rolled up along the edge of the roof line. Well I guess that turned out to be just an ideal spot for the squirrels. They would scurry up these metal poles that I have and then climb in to that little roll up of tarp that I had. And then the little no goods ended up chewing away all that tarp. They pretty near chewed right through to the outside, the stupid idiots. And uh, and then look, there's spruce cones that they have for lunch. 
remnants of a nest. No doubt I killed some of the babies, but I'm sorry. But look at all here, look at all the mitten from these uh, spruce cones. They've been chewing on all winter. The no good rotten, but they have a hole chewed in here. I'm telling you, boy, I got no use for squirrels. No use for squirrels at all. If we had about a million less squirrels a day in this world, I'd be happy. That's what can happen if you uh, don't try to keep your squirrel population at bay. You know, I try to leave the squirrels alone as much as I can. We used to have bird feeders. Nanny used to love to feed the birds. The birds would be around all the time. It was nice eh, having the birds in the yard. And, uh, but the old squirrels, they would come out by the drove and they would get all the bird seed, scare the birds away, so we weren't feeding any birds at all. We'd scare the bird, the squirrels would scare the birds away, and then they'd just belly up on these seeds. We'd find them everywhere. They'd be in the shop, they'd be everywhere. So, you know, in under the tractor seat, under the tractor cowling, under the, the hood on the tractor, around the lawnmowers, everywhere. So they, it was just poison, the squirrels. So we took the feeders down and that helped the squirrels a lot. And then of course I was uh, defending my property. Had my pellet gun out and got rid of a few squirrels. First year I had my pellet gun, I put 22 notches on the stock. And that was only in the first three or four weeks. So we were overrun with squirrels. They haven't been too bad the last little while, but then I discovered that here this morning. So that's it boys, squirrels. I wouldn't want to be a squirrel living around here. Well, there you go boys, there you go. I, You know I thought hiring somebody to paint the barn, I'd be done with it, right? No way, that was a big job to get all that stuff taken off the barn. And then like I say, it was about an eight hour job for me to put her back on. But anyway, got her all painted. Most of the stuff is back on the shop. It looks pretty good, I think. And I hope you do too. So uh, hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you dropped by. And thanks everyone else for watching. And don't forget everybody thumbs up me, leave me some comments. And uh, I hope you're having a great summer. We'll talk.